Hi guys, welcome back to the Do It Yourself YouTube channel. Nice little easy one for you today. This is an IP68 rated waterproof cable connector. For connecting cables together outdoors, this is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to show you how to connect cables into one of these today. And if you want to know where to buy one of these, I'm going to stick a link in the description so you can go grab yourself one. It's by far the most simplest, easiest and waterproof way to connect two cables outdoors. And make sure, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button down below. There is loads of content, electrical, plumbing, construction, all that sort of thing, coming to the channel. And there's probably some videos that are going to help you guys out already on the channel, so check them out as well. So the idea behind these, there's two weatherproof glands in the end. And as you do this weatherproof gland up, it nips this waterproof o-ring onto the outside sheath of the cable therefore no water can get through. There's also a dustproof and waterproof seal between the top of the box and the plastic housing so no water can get in that way. So let's crack on. You don't need a lot for this job. Cable strippers and a little screwdriver is about all you're going to need for this one. So in the kit you get the box itself with the two weatherproof glands on the end and you get a few different waterproof seals you get the ones for 2.5 flex and already inserted are the weatherproof seals for the 1.5 flex they're the ones that we're going to be using today first of all take the weatherproof cap off of the box this seal here is your weatherproof seal don't lose that undo your weatherproof glands and just pop the one mil seal out for now. Make sure that the glands are tight onto the box. And just do that by hand. You don't need to be over tight. Make sure your cable is stripped back to the required length. Slide the gland nut down over the cable. Let that slide all the way down for now. And then pop the weatherproof seal on there too. Push the cable into the box and pull it through. Get your desired cable length. I would suggest having the sheath stop flush with the inside of the gland and your strip back conductors being exposed within the box. Once you've got the cable where you want, push your little weatherproof seal back in and your gland nut, pop that back on. Just do it up by hand for now. We can tighten them up later, but already you can see that has nipped on to the outer sheath of the cable. Leave the conductors curled up inside the bottom of the box there for now and repeat the process on the other side. Now you've got both of the gland bodies done up by hand, we'll grab a couple of spanners and we'll just nip these up but as they're plastic they don't need to be over tightened just nipped up slightly tighter than hand tight and when you tighten these up what that does is that compresses that weatherproof seal onto the cable itself so that no water can get in past the seal so hopefully you can see on the camera there but that has compressed that weatherproof seal entirely no war can get past at all now i'll quickly show you just how to put those cables together you could use one of these little connector blocks however i'll show you this using some push fit connectors they're much easier to use than the traditional connector block i'll put a link in the description where you can pick some of these up all you need to do is flick the little levers up wind your conductors together so that all the strands of copper are together push them all the way in and then flick down the little lever that locks the cable in place. So obviously we'll repeat that for all of these. We'll go earth to earth. Neutral to neutral. And last but not least, live to live. Right, give them all a bit of a tug so you can just check that they're all connected. Then all you need to do, helicopter, right that's gone. All we need to do now is push those down into the box 
and this is why they're a lot easier because you can do them all individually you don't need to worry about trying to fudge them all in with one connector Just push them down into the box make sure your weatherproof seal is on properly and over all of the screws because if it doesn't sit flush it'll let water in grab the cap sit that on the seal and start doing up the cap screws just do them all up loosely to start with and I would advise doing them at diagonals rather than this side then this side that can cause uneven tightening on the cap so go diagonals so I'll just go around put them all in then at the end we'll just check that they're all done up nicely and that it's squashing the weatherproof seal properly so that we don't get any leaks now we'll just go around give them one final check now before you finish just visually inspect the seal all the way around the side to check that it looks like it's nipped up between the cap and the body right guys hopefully that's helped you out if it has give me a like and make sure you subscribe there's loads of other stuff like this coming to the channel over the next few months i will stick a link in the top of the screen here so you can check out some of my other handy electrical videos and all of these little bits and pieces will be linked in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next one